Welcome to Mark's Moore Sports and Farming Channel. This video is the December 2023 channel update. I hope everyone had had a Merry Christmas and and hopefully the New Year New Year will go well for everyone. Uh, this is being filmed in between the two holidays, in which. I usually don't like to do these updates quite this late in the month, but that's just the way the cards play out sometimes. And I guess the important thing is that this will be available to view while the calendar still says it's December. <laughs> so. As far as more sports go, uh, I'm down to one tractor pulling event that I haven't posted any videos from yet. So yes, we, we will be going into January with tractor pulling be, before I get everything up. So, and the videos I have left are, are in out of field type of pole, so you, know, you get the so you get the ones that you know look more like farm tractors or over the road trucks and semis. So for the most part, you know the, the semi video might might have one or two that that aren't 100% street legal, but. Yeah, generally speaking, it'll be the tractor pulling videos I haven't posted yet will, will be uh, out of the field type vehicles or off of the road. So, and then snow cross is right around the corner. That's we're two or three weeks away now from the first national event of the, you know, first of two that are somewhat close to where I'm at. So those of you that, that live reasonable distance from there, I am intending to be there, so, you know, I've I already have tickets for it, so you know, the intent is to go and film it again. So, uh, yeah, so those of you that are uh, reasonable distance from Shakopee, Minnesota, where, where the races are held, you know. Maybe the cars would, you know, play out, so to speak, you know. You know, if you, if you catch me filming over there, then, you know, feel free to stop over and maybe be just a little bit in, in between races or, or when the, or when it's a, You know, not a future type race and <laughs> but anyway I I am intending to take over the snowcross national races in, in a couple weeks or so or I don't think it's more than three. And otherwise, uh, I'm still working on get, getting those autocross videos posted as well, you know, so. I don't know. 
how long for sure that's gonna take, but well, once the tractor pull in, pulls up, pull videos are up, then, then I might start posting those autocross more often. And because I also saw where there's some autocross racing happening well, a week or so after the snow crossed, so you know, see what I can do there. You know, if I'm able to get there and get video of it, you know, I can post. After the current autocross event is all posted, but I, I don't think I filmed that last year. Now that I think of it, yeah, I mostly just went to it. But we'll see what happens, you know, whether I'm able to film that or not. You know, switching over to farming here, uh, the crops are all officially off, and I was not able to get any more combine videos made other than the one that I posted. And mostly because of how, how the combine was acting the, the rest of the fall. I mean, there's, I guess there, there was one day where, where it didn't act up at all, you know, in which if I would have known that that would have been the case, then I could have, then I could have grabbed some corn harvesting footage for you guys the day that the combine actually behaved. And as you're starting to see, we we were not able to get any uh, tillage work done this fall, just because you know ground froze. You know before we had a chance to do it, and with combine going as as late, late as it ended up going, you know <coughs> the ground was was already froze when we got the corn combine, so... Then... And the whole idea of the combine acting like it did uh, raises the question of how, how much longer will that well, we well, we keep using that combine. <clears throat> you know, because it said there is a uh, what's probably a a fairly hefty repair bill that that we have on it and. Still didn't, still didn't behave, behave fully, you know, like like it should. So, you know, there could end up being a, a domino thing going on there, where you know, just spending, 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 and you know, not not ever being able to get the money back. So. I mean, upgrading the combine is something that, you know, we all know eventually has, has to be done because they don't last forever, you know. But at the same time, I was, you know, it would have been nice to, you know, not have to worry about upgrading the combine for another year or two yet. But, you know, I guess we'll have to see what happens, you know. 
whether we're able to upgrade to a little bit newer machine and in which I mean uh, not that a newer machine than, than what we have would never break down but overall that because it's newer it, it should be you know a little more dependable so and toward you know any fixing that may need to be done after we start using it, it would you know it would at least last long enough to where we can get the money back out of it <clears throat> and then we've got one of the tractors that, that we've been using too that's That's not not acting like it's the way that should either. So, and and being we're, we're still dealing with it after we after we paid a repair bill for it, you know, toward, towards the end of the summer, and, you know, whatever was done to it didn't solve the problem so you know, so there too how, how much longer do we, do we keep trying to screw around with it be, before we before we decide that that we don't want to you know, spend any more time on it so, and, and we still have the 86 four, 40 four wheel drive that that nearly two years later we still can't find a home for it so you know that may end up being part of a uh, trade deal as well so and walk around in an area where you know mother nature wasn't able to allow, allow for the second crop hay to get bailed yet you know and I've been so far I've been scraping up a little bit every so often and trying to feed it loose it to some to some of the cattle but I mean, it's hard, hard to tell sometimes if they're, if they're eating it as well as they should or not, you know, but, I mean, you'd think cattle, cattle might still eat this being its second crop, and not first, but, otherwise if they don't eat it, then, then you're bailing it up as bedding, and, you know, you hate to see second crop hay go, you know, get put up as bedding. <laughs> I mean, some of the first crop that, that's in a super little area that doesn't produce feedable hay to begin with, you know, and that's one thing, but you should never have to do that with second crop, but... You know. We'll see once what we end up doing, and and if Mother Nature will, will let us do it, you know. I mean, as mild as it's been, there is surprisingly still still a chance that it might happen. And if it does, then. I'll certainly get some video of it. I mean, not at home here, but at the other farm where where I where I cut cut it down in the video that I posted. 
you know, kind of cutting in the last hay, you know, and I'll be able to grab a bailing video if, if things do allow for that hay to get bailed. And, and then, like I say, tillage too, you know, I, we, we weren't able to get that done. But the frost that we were dealing with earlier may be coming out because of the weather conditions that we've had lately. And so there too, you know, if, if we're able to get tillage, get tillage done before spring, then... <coughs> There will be video of, you know, if conditions allow it to happen. Otherwise, look look for that content during the spring months. Uh, yeah, the, the cows still seem to be doing pr pretty good, and then this group here. I think it's ready to go to a live market to 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 where, to where the to where they'll become freezer meat freezer meat for somebody, but you know, just not you know, it's just just a little early to, to deal with freezer meat freezer meat on on these, I think, and we had. The group of three that I have will, will be the ones that that we that we make freezer meat out of, and and the January 2024 channel update. You know, the, this group here should be gone, and then either then you'll either see this pen empty or or the other group of cattle in here. Rather than in the pen that they're in now. So. <clears throat> yeah, the, the holidays is generally not an ideal time to to be to do anything, any sort of. You know, marketing of livestock just because, you know, the, those that buy them aren't necessarily thinking of that as much, and then, then, then they don't pay quite as much. Where, where once the holidays are done, then, <coughs> they'll, then they'll start thinking about that a little bit more, and, and then the market goes back up. You know, to to where it was basically before the month of December or before Thanksgiving for that matter so yeah there, there probably won't be any sort of video for just that just cause You really gotta be able to watch what you're doing, and you know, and, and then be fast, you know, to let's get them, get them onto a trailer to, to get them out. So, and then. The ice races that I've been filming are, are going to come back in February, so... As of now, I believe they're looking to do them the first weekend and last weekend of February, so... Man. I guess it depends, too, on... On... on what Mother Nature gives us, because 
last year they, they ended up having to postpone the first one, you know, because of weather conditions, so that could end up happening again, so you know, so I should know more for sure about that. You know by the time the by the time I do the January twenty twenty four update. And which hopefully will happen sooner in the month than, than this one. So. Uh, one nice thing here, there's no white shit on the ground, which we normally see by now. So, man, I know there there are some that you know would 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 ever have have the ground covered in white just because you know they, they earn money clearing off of people's driveways or 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 like to tear on the snowmobiles and all that but I guess the, the primary reason the primary reason that I'm personally against it is because of you know having to clear it off is not necessarily my favorite thing to do plus they usually end up with slippery roads because of it so that's why I'd personally rather have what we've been dealing with rather than that so <clears throat> and the Louisville Farm Show is coming up in the middle of February and which I'm leaning towards going to that but I'll, I'll let you guys know on that as well in the next update video as to you know what more I know as far as you know whether I'll for sure be going or not I mean, like I say, I'm I'm leaning towards going down this time around just because, you know, the last couple of years that they held it, you know, I haven't been able to go because I've been laid up with something, so. And that would also be a nice way to, you know, get you guys some farming really really content as well because you know generally speaking there's no farming activity over the winter months so you know so that would be one benefit of me going down there so I mean I I looked around at what's available as far as rooms to stay at but uh, as I as I film this I, I haven't officially booked anything just yet but you know, I suppose I probably should soon well while, while there's you know try to find something you know fairly close to, to the facility that's held that would, would be the ideal thing as opposed to having to drive a few miles back and forth and whatnot. So, but like I said you know I'll, I'll let you know for sure in the January 2024 update video if something materializes with that or not but, but like I said at, at this point I'm, I'm leaning towards going to it so. <clears throat> And now, now that there's no more fuel work to 
to do to speak of. We're, we're able to work on firewood again. You know, my brother and I are able to, you know. I, I don't know if, how well that would work for, for me to run a gas powered chainsaw anymore, you know, with my artificial arm. So, so, my brother's been, been doing that part and, and, and then getting them, you know, cut into the, the length chunks that we, that we want and then, and then after that point I'm able to help with it. You know, the last few trees I've, I've continued, you know, Hauling the, hauling the rounds up up to the, up to by the pile here, so that they can be split. And then, then this year I I have done a majority of this of the splitting. So, you know, most of this split wood that you see was, I mean, a, a high percentage was, you know. What what I split? You know, I mean, he'd brother split some, but I I have been doing most of it. So yeah, we're we're able to make progress on firewood again. In fact, I I think what what you see here is is already. Closer the amount, the amount, the amount that we made last year, but you know, last year we we weren't able to do anymore because we had too much white shit on the ground. So, so we ended up with about this much of a stack that that we were able to sell this past fall here. So. Uh, Whereas this year everything's nice and bare, so so we can keep working and you know you know get get more done, and then then we'll have then we'll have more to more to sell in the fall, and you know possibly into the winter, depending on you know what you know how how fast they end up coming for it. Yeah, a couple of years we were able to sell it by Halloween, you know, that's that's always kind of nice, you know, and then weather's halfway decent and then we're not out here, you know, almost freezing, I guess, you know, loading on, loading onto the customer's vehicle and then, then customers don't have to worry about slip, slipping and sliding, trying, trying to get out once it's loaded, so... I guess that that is a benefit of you know being able to market firewood when when it's fall and and, and before it starts getting cold it, you know and when they actually need the wood and and here the camera's picking up you know. You can see the manure sprayer sitting here. You know, it's another job that we, you know, we weren't able to finish because it was time to harvest. So, you know, I, there's six loads that I counted you know, that I spread out here with it so far. You know, and that, that was enough. You know, to, to get the two pins clean that, that the cattle are in, so, you know, and we got, we got that clean, and then, and then, then the crops were starting to dry enough to, where we could harvest them, 
before we had a chance to get any more mineral haul out. So that would also be a possibility of something that, that I might be able to do, you know, while it's, you know, bare and, you know, not too wet and greasy to, on the surface so before I can get around to get the rest of the spread that, that we can. That's that's just like raking hay on where where before the accident happened and, and I had a, a complete real arm in hand yet, then 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 I could grab this camera with the with the right hand easily and then and then turn it back like so to to, to do a video like that whereas you know not, not having a right hand you know it's, doing that type of video is not necessarily an easy thing so you know so that, that's why I haven't included any raking, raking videos this, this year when you know, when I've made hay, I've only been able to do cutting and bailing videos for that reason, so. <clears throat> but. Uh, I think that's everything on, other than, you know, the, the, Work, work that that crew did on the dream bin. You know, that's the only other thing that I can think of that I can add to this video. You know, that ended up, that ended up being a very handy thing because I'm able to safely get get up to the top to to open the cover to to get an auger and sit onto it and you know to where we can. Put, put brain into that bin, so. And which on that note, you know, I've, I'm already leaning towards having that same crew do, do the same thing to, to another bin of ours, and then, and then we'd have, you know, two of them that I can get up to, get up to if, if needed, rather than rather than just the one now. So. And, you know, if that were to happen, that would be, you know, sometime this, this coming fall, you know, because... You know, they'd have to give a quote, and then, then they'll want part of part of the cost down and you know and then it's just a matter of them giving the stuff ordered to, to where they can do it and then you know, how long it takes for, for that stuff to get into their warehouse to, to where they're able to come out and do it and then that's a matter of you know how long the line there is ahead of you to, to where they can actually do the work, so. You know, that would be the ultimate goal there is, you know, that would be the, or that would be the ideal thing there is that you eventually have uh, all four of those green bins, you know, to, to where we can use them. But, uh, the other two require a little bit more work than, than the one, so, you know, the green that I just referenced is 
a lot more likely to happen than the other two, so. And there too, if, if something materializes, I'll let you guys know in a later video, so. Now I think I pretty well covered everything, so. If you have questions on anything that, that I talked about, then feel free to ask in the comment section below. <clears throat> and with that, I thank you guys for watching my videos. Certainly appreciate that. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Bring along from her, you know, have, having me bring bring you up to speed on different things that that have happened and different things that you can watch for on the channel. And it recently occurred to me that about a month ago marked five years that this channel has, has been in existence so, so like I say I certainly appreciate those of you that have watched my videos over those five years and hopefully you and I hope that you guys are willing to continue watching the videos for as long as I keep going with it. <clears throat> and be sure to click on the like button. And if you haven't already, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And then once you're subscribed, then be sure to click on the bell. You'll be notified whenever a new video gets posted. Be sure to follow Mark's Warriors Sports and Farming channel on Facebook as well. You know, I'll put things out there, you know, as I think of it, and or as they happen, for one thing, something's got to happen, and then and if I think of it, I'll, I'll put it out there. Uh, and I'll, I'll also put short videos out, you know, as I'm able to get them, you know, or film stuff that I can put out as a short. I know it's been over a month for sure since, since I put the last short video out. And live streaming is, is something that's been even been a lot longer than that, you know, since since I last did a live stream, so if that's something that, that you guys would be interested in and again let me know in the comments. Uh, I've kicked around the idea already of you know, maybe doing one on New Year's Day, you know, towards the evening. I don't know for sure if, if I will or not, but, you know, you guys will see the notification if, if I would decide to do one. So, <clears throat> but with all that, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you later.